No. It's the 21st, right? Four days till Christmas. Four days till Christmas. You know what that means. A Costco run. Oh. <laughs> I haven't been to Costco in the last six months, and we need food for the holidays and a full restock. So I brought reinforcements. I was tricked with pizza. Yeah, I, I do. I do want a piece of pizza and a lot of groceries. So, ready? Let's go do some damage. Oh, I, I hope they have samples today. I'm sure they do. It looks busy. Let's go. Fun. <laughs> Thank you. So easily distracted. <laughs> Look at that new sound bar. <laughs> Sounds good. You're a problem at Costco. <laughs> it's on sale. The price is going up. The price is going up. Today is going to be a big shop. I have a big list. It might be one of my biggest yet. It's like we're literally out of everything so got the list i also am gonna wander and see what we need but let the holiday christmas haul begin. oh we needed batteries didn't we yeah i didn't get enough to power the space station <laughs> we are literally wandering every aisle I actually find this really fun and therapeutic. I swear I'm going to differ. He's actually kind of pissed at the moment because he is not seeing samples. How do you feel about it? Thoughts, thoughts on those samples? I just I just made a story. I was saying I hate, I'm only 33 and I hate when older people are like, do you remember when times were better? For the first time, I'm, there's no samples here today. Do you remember <laughs> when there were samples at Costco? Uh, yeah, times I remember. were better. My whole childhood. Oh, okay. it's better. I want a sausage and some odd cracker that just doesn't <laughs> some hit random the same dip. at home. <laughs> All right, we have made oh, it to the okay. We just made it to the food section, which is the largest part of my list, especially since it's the holidays. So we're gonna power through and get all the groceries we need for the holidays. We will see this cart fill up very fast, starting now. Go ahead, start your apology. I have to apologize. Um, there were samples. What do you have there? Pound cake? Small cinnamon roll. <laughs> What'd you find now? This one's a buffalo chicken sauce. Where's mine? I don't know if there's anything to You took the whole thing! I have to go back. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I have to go back. Can you go back? So she, Cause she just saw me. Yeah, so I'll put on my jacket and go back, and then you can go back and get more. So I can get two. I'm two toes. Took off my hat and glasses. I don't know. Yeah, she'll never know. I don't think so. Handled all the veggies. I want mashed potatoes. They're over there. And street taco meat. <laughs> on to beans. We need a full restock on that. All back stock for the freezer needs to be. Hey, how about restock. that Wagyu ground beef for some hamburger helper? Do you mind grabbing a stew meat? Up there, that chopped. Got some ribeyes. So I thought it'd be helpful for eating Sawyer to Costco. It is proven to uh, fill up the cart much faster. I've successfully crossed off all the fruit, all the meat, and kind of like all the meat and cheese and kind of sides, I guess. So we're gonna start venturing into I'd the cleaning. Sorry. No, you're fine, what? I'd have to get a torch. It's okay, I don't need a creme brulee kit at home. That could be dangerous. That could be dangerous. That could be very dangerous. I don't know if we need that at home. <laughs> it's got eight creme brulees. It wouldn't make it till tomorrow night. That's fair. Um, all right, we're gonna start venturing into cleaning and present section. I did grab I got stuffed grape leaves, sorry. <laughs> he got stuffed grape leaves and I found uh, the tortillas in like big win today. It would possibly be good with the chili sauce we got or even like a mozzarella. Are you trying to sell me on this yeah, cheese it's a bread? Yeah, part cheese bread loaf. Sure. It's the holidays, throw it in. Okay. Try a new thing. We're gonna need mozzarella on top of the mozzarella bread? No, 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 mozzarella cheese, mozzarella sauce. Right. The red sauce. 
Oh, you mean uh, like tomato, tomato sauce? Yeah, mozzarella. Is that That's not mozzarella. That's uh, just like tomato sauce. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So we're on the hunt for crackers. That's the only thing. Ooh. So do you see this? Thin mint bites on the snack aisle instead. These look good. They had fruit bars. Ooh, I'll try those. We are nearing the end. Thank goodness, because Sawyer is also nearing the end. He's like, ooh, I'm tired and I'm hungry. I'm like, all right, pizza coming soon. This cart is very heavy. I'm assuming we did some serious damage today. Right. We should put down a whole pizza. <laughs> we might be able to. I'm starving. There's a thought. Okay, uh, let's pick a line. Oh, that's not a bad line. Yeah. Whoa, mine are not bad today. With that being said, my last haul was I think around $850. How much do you think it'll be today? I think we beat it. <laughs> I think we I don't know. It. I think we've I'm gonna guess around mine's 825. What's your number? Pick a number. 886. Alright. Let's see what the damage is. Is it 750? Yeah, that's at 750. Yeah. Over time left. <laughs> oh, we were way off. Ooh. Oh, we were way off. My <laughs> That'll do. We were all way off. Way off, but we did I some. said 886. They all said, he said 650, 720 something. Something around there, all but right, uh. Thank you very much. I'll share that number with you later. That's dangerous. <laughs> Ooh, a very, very fun day. Pulling out your truffle cheese. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is the real reason I wanted to come up here, was just for this. Good. That was about it. The truffle. <laughs> He's such a kid. <laughs> not bad. It's bad. <laughs> but not about all. a lot of stuff, babe. Oh yeah, I don't know where it's hitting. I have my ways, but yeah, this is a lot of stuff. So I've learned whenever I do a Costco run, it's pretty much an all day event. It was an all day event when I used to do them in Hawaii. It's an all day event here because the nearest Costco is about 45 minutes away. So that's why when I go, it's always pretty much a full of restock. It's never just, oh, let me go grab what we need for the week. It's like, let me go grab what we need for three months because I don't venture up there as often as I probably should, as you will soon learn once I share the total with you guys. Now, in my last Costco haul, I shared the grand total with you guys for like the first time I think ever. I never really did it before, but it was such a big haul that I was like, you know what, let's play a fun game. Everyone guess the total. So we're gonna do that again today. I will tell you that it, it did exceed the previous Costco purchase, last Costco haul. So keep that in mind when taking your guesses. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling and we will jump right in and start powering through this so you guys can see what we found for this holiday season. We found some new things, we restocked some, and I also got some things for the holiday meals for Christmas Eve, Christmas, New Year's, all that jazz. But I do have a quick question. I am curious, so besides commenting what you think the grand total is, because that's always fun, it's like, guess the price. <laughs> I also want to know why you guys like these Costco hauls. I've noticed it's like one of your guys' 
favorite types of videos. So I'm just curious, is it just so you guys get like different ideas of what to buy? Or are you just curious what people buy at Costco? I just wanna know why you guys like them because I like doing them because I like going to Costco. But I am curious, so let me know down below. So starting with whatever is on top, I always get this, you guys probably know this by now, but this is the Kirkland Uncured Black Forest Ham. And I personally like to freeze half of this because we just can't finish it in time before it goes bad. So that is a little tip when it comes to Costco because buying in bulk for two doesn't always make sense, but there is sometimes a way to get around it. So you get the better price and it can last longer if you freeze it. Daisy, don't protect the food down there. <laughs> And I have mentioned this before, but I'm very particular about my lunch meat. Something about the texture has to be right. And I do like Costco's for that reason, as well as there's no preservatives and there is no nitrates and other things in here, which is nice. And it feels like carved meat. So highly recommend. I grabbed a bag of boneless, skinless chicken tenderloin. I like to get the tenderloins. They defrost easier. Sometimes they're easier to cook when it's just like me. I'll just defrost two. Call it good. I grabbed two of the hand pulled rotisserie chicken breast meat. I love to keep these in the freezer. I use them for jambalaya, I use them for gumbo, I use them when I do chicken noodle soup. It's just, it's too easy. So if you're ever at Costco, grab some of these, keep them in the freezer. It's so easy. So you can even like divide it up. So it's easier because I did use this to make chicken noodle soup. I used a whole pack and it made an obscene amount of chicken noodle soup that ended up freezing like two thirds of it, which is great. I have homemade frozen chicken noodle soup when I feel like it, but these definitely come in handy. I make making meals so easy. So I grabbed two of these to have on hand. So I grabbed some white queso, which looks really good. It has jalapenos in it. So we grabbed some ground bison. We prefer bison over ground beef. Just preference. So I grabbed a little snack. It's the shrimp cocktail with cocktail sauce. These are so easy. He almost grabbed the garlic shrimp. Those are so good. Oh my gosh. If you're looking for an easy dish to bring to like a holiday party or to serve around the holidays, just grab these at Costco. It's too easy not to. Then we grabbed some prosciutto for cheese boards. Little trick on this. I actually will cut it in half and freeze one half because we will not finish both packs in time. I think I got this in my last Costco haul and I mentioned it because I haven't tried it before. Well, I tried it and it is so good. So it comes in a pack of two, if I'm remembering correctly. And I was really impressed with the ingredients. Like you can read them all. And that doesn't happen very often when it comes to a pre-packaged item. And the sodium actually isn't that bad considering that it's pre-packaged as well. Grass-fed beef sirloin by sous vide, by sous vide. Something like that. So if you see this at your Costco, highly recommend. Perfect for salads or quesadillas. We grabbed some cheeses to snack on during the holidays. We grabbed the Kirkland Manchego cheat Manchego, Manchego. That is not coming out easily today. <laughs> this is a 100% sheep's milk product of Spain. And then this one is actually one of my favorites. Uh, my mom actually got me on this one. She had it one day on her cheese boards and I'm like, that is amazing. So pretty much anytime I see it when I'm there, I grab it. But this is the Kirkland Bella Ventino. Bella Vitatino Cabernet Sauvignon Cheese. Wow, I totally probably butchered that, but you get it. It's really good. It almost tastes like a sharp white cheddar. It is really yummy. So if you see this at your Costco as well definitely recommend. So the last thing in this box are all the meats that I grabbed to serve around the holidays. So for Christmas day, I think I'm gonna do um, ribeyes. So I grabbed two packs of ribeyes, one that I can serve for well, Christmas day, and then another one to keep in the freezer for Sawyer and I, so we have steaks on hand. And I always like to do this with my steaks. Whenever I go to Costco, I just really like the quality of their meat, so I buy in bulk freeze them in packs of two, and then Sawyer and I will have back stock of steaks in our freezer. So we are set on ribeyes. Grabbed a pack of stew meat. I feel like that would be a perfect like mid-week, mid-holiday meal that I can just put on and whoever's around, like if Sawyer's mom wants to come over for dinner, we'll just have stew on. I just feel like the holidays and like winter call for stew. <laughs> so I grabbed some stew meat. And then the last thing that I grabbed for like a holiday meal is a boneless lamb leg. And I actually think I'm going to cook this like either New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. 
but if you don't know this, if you're new here, <laughs> one of my favorite things ever is lamb. Like my dad used to make all the time when I was a kid. Like every time we go out to a restaurant, I never order steak. I always order lamb if they have it on the menu. So little fun fact, but I have found when it comes to buying lamb, like I used to buy the rack of lamb or like lamb on the bone. And I love that. I do like it that way as well, but I have found you kind of get a little bit more bang for your buck when you buy a lamb leg. Like this was $30. I actually cut it in half and freeze half. So I actually get two meals out of this. I just feel like you get more meat when you buy it this way as well. All right, so I'm done rambling about lamb. <laughs> okay, that's it in that box. I'm gonna get the stuff in the fridge, try to find a home for some of this, and then we will move on to the next bag. this is mainly cold or refrigerated items and most of these I feel like are things I always buy so I'll move through these pretty quick so the first item in this box is the Kirkland organic spinach and cheese raviolis again I'll just cut this in half and then like freeze one but these are so good with the Rayo's um, Alfredo sauce and sometimes I'll like saute mushrooms in that sauce and add chicken oh so good so easy meal idea right there grab some mexican style shredded cheese put one in the freezer use one then i grabbed my favorite frozen pizza highly recommend um i like to buy cauliflower pizza i feel a little less guilty <laughs> when i eat it um plus there's something about this specific one that the cauliflower crust turns out so crispy and I've never really had that experience before. Most cauliflower crust honestly tastes kind of like cardboard. Not this one, this one's great. This is the Kirkland Supreme cauliflower crust pizza. I ended up grabbing two packs of it, so I have plenty in the freezer for when I want it. I grabbed this Artisan Romaine, love this. Just tastes a little bit more flavorful than just normal romaine. Oh, and especially grilled on the grill <laughs> with a little bit of Caesar dressing and some balsamic glaze. Ooh, so good. Probably do that with the lamb for New Year's Eve or New Year's or whenever we do it. Some carrots for the stew, some organic French green beans. And then I felt like it was the holidays, which kind of called for Brussels sprouts. Don't really cook Brussels sprouts, but I often do like potatoes with like onions and veggies like on a tray and just roast it in the oven. So I thought this might be a good addition to switch it up, try something new. Grab some potatoes for the stew and to have on hand. Organic baby spinach. I've been adding handfuls of spinach to my smoothies. Easy way to get like a good handful of greens in and you don't even really taste it because of all the fruit and you know, protein powder and all that. So little trick if you're trying to get in some greens, throw a big handful into your smoothie. Because it was so much stuff, it was so hard to organize as we were like checking out that everybody just started throwing everything into different boxes. We had two carts, three people loading. It was intense. So things are kind of everywhere. Anyways, grabbed a big bag of peeled garlic. One of my girlfriends, she's like the queen at making cheese boards. And she has this awesome little recipe for like, I don't even know what you call it some type of garlic, but I think she just does it in a crock pot with olive oil and just kind of cook down the garlic and it's like a soft garlic spread. Oh, so good. So I'm gonna text her for that recipe, but I grabbed the peeled garlic to make my life easier so I can make it for Sawyer. Organic Baby Bella mushrooms. Sawyer's grandma is actually gonna teach me how to make her stuffed mushrooms. Uh, we're gonna do it for Christmas day to do with the steaks. And oh my gosh, she makes the best stuffed mushrooms. So I'm very excited to learn that. Organic raspberries and blackberries. I think that's it on the veggie front. I grabbed some grass-fed butter. Um, I always use grass-fed butter. There definitely is a taste difference, plus the color difference, um, everything about it. I just personally like using the grass-fed butter better, um, or like Irish butter. So I grabbed a ton. I actually grabbed because we go through butter so much, especially with like holidays and baking and all that. I just grabbed some to keep in the freezer. So I grabbed the Kirkland version this time. Um, honestly, it all tastes the same. Borson um, cheese wheels, either to add to the cheese boards or I also saw a really good, or it looked really good, uh, recipe for odd gratin potatoes, which I love to make. And I'm going to do that with either the steak or the lamb. 
Um, but I saw somebody melt one of these into the cream and then put it over the potatoes and I was like, oh. So we're gonna try that. The truffle cheese, it's like truffle Parmesan cheese that Sawyer added to his pizza that you already saw in Costco. Uh, he said it was really good. Favorite tortillas. We love the Tortilla Land tortillas. I love that they're raw, so I don't know. It feels like you're having a freshly made tortilla. I mean, I guess you are, but it just makes tacos and burritos and quesadillas more exciting. And then the last thing in here are um, croquetas. Um, Sawyer's favorite thing when we are traveling in Europe is a croquetta. Um, I'd probably say that wrong, but don't mind me. Um, I think at Costco they call them Cubano inspired bites, but basically it's ham and cheese and a little pastry. It's basically a croquetta. Just depends on what part of the world you're in. So, into the fridge, all this goes. Full Costco shop and unloading and trying to fit it all into your pantry and fridge can be exhausting. Um, but we're getting there. All right, next bag. So I grabbed some stuffed grape leaves. We love these. Excited to try these. Hopefully they taste good. Organic feta. Grab some Parmesan. I love to make a artichoke dip for the holidays with some like green chili peppers, so good. So I needed some Parmesan. We're gonna give this a try. This will be new. This is the Aioli Spaghetti Carbonara Pan Cotta. Um, I like to keep a few pre-made things in the fridge, like when we need something quick for lunch, or sort of like, I'm hungry, what do we have? It's like something quick and easy, but yet looks really yummy to quickly warm up or make, so. We'll give that a shot. Something I always like to keep in the pantry is kind of like backstock, hurricane food, emergency food, slash I'm craving macaroni, <laughs> is the Annie's Organic Macaroni. Every once in a while you just want mac and cheese with some chicken, well at least I do. AAA and AA batteries. Battery box is looking a little empty. If you have not tried the Kirkland lasagna, you are missing out. Just here to tell you, it is awesome. In my last haul, I got this lasagna and I mentioned that I was selling it to the neighborhood. Everyone's like, great. Next time you go to Costco, grab it and we'll have a lasagna night. Well, we did. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. So, it's a hit. Highly recommend. This will actually be our Christmas Eve dinner. I feel like I wanted something easy since I'm gonna do like a big dinner on Christmas and I felt like lasagna is like comfort food and honestly it's so good. I couldn't make I couldn't make it this good, so I just bought it from Costco. Tried and true. Italian sausage and beef lasagna. If you have not had this, next time you go to Costco, get it. You'll thank me later. It's so good. That one's empty. So Sawyer grabbed some chips. He grabbed the late July Mexican street corn chips. He wanted something for his queso and this was his pick. So I'm sure that's gonna be a very bold and flavorful combination. <laughs> this is always a staple in our house. So I grabbed another one. This is the Stonefire Mini Naan. Um, I actually like to freeze most of it um, until we need it. So if I'm doing like gyros and I make like Indian, like tikka, um, Honestly, these are just really nice to keep on hand when you're craving it or needing it. So keeping it in the freezer is key because these actually go bad pretty fast. So something I've realized is I don't keep a lot of snacks in the house. So I'm trying to branch out and try a few different things. These were new. I've never seen these before. This is by a brand called Bear. They're fruit rolls and there's no sugar added. The flavors are apple pear raspberry and apple pear strawberry. They look like little like fruit roll-ups. So, no sugar added, never from juice concentrates, and just four ingredients. I will report back, but they look really good. Sawyer's so gonna be so proud of me. He's gonna be so freaking impressed that I figured out how to get all the frozen items in our small freezer. Not gonna lie, he was very doubtful when we were about to check out. He's like, how is this going to fit in our freezer? I'm like, Trust me, I got this. 
and we did it. <laughs> Getting close. We have one last box and a few, oh, random items, but this box is heavy. So random. We have a box, or half a box, because now the half of them are back in that box, but a box of honey crisp apples. I'm just gonna put those back in there. Some foil. We were out of foil, so now I have back stock of that. I grabbed our favorite tomato sauce, the Rayo's marinara. So good. Also love the Alfredo, like I mentioned. Can't go wrong. Some salsa. I've tried this brand before. I can't remember if I liked this one, so I'm going to remember this time. Chicken bouillon. I love to keep this in the fridge. Sometimes you just need it when you're making soups or dishes, so. Ooh, this was a good find. This one was on sale. This is by Something Special. It's the red chili pepper spread, like pepper jelly. I love to do this around the holidays. I will put it over like cream cheese and serve it with uh, wheat thins. So good. I grabbed some more honey. Grabbed some tape for gift wrapping. Sawyer and I have not done any gift wrapping and it's the 21st the 20th, the 21st. Like, we have so much wrapping to do. <laughs> um, if you haven't tried this yet, <laughs> it's so good. It keeps you very regular. Don't need to say anything more, uh, but it is great to do at night, and you wake up and yay, and it's natural. So, just a little, little health tip there. And then, ooh, I grabbed some Christmas presents. <laughs> you might be wondering how teriyaki sauce is a Christmas present, but when literally everyone in the family uses this and every time I go to Costco, they're like, will you grab it, will you grab it? And I did. Karen loves this teriyaki sauce. We do too. So I actually grabbed three jars of it, so we have an extra, and I got one for Karen to wrap up for her because she's always like, can I take some home with me? Do you have an extra bottle? I ran out of mine, so. We are fully stocked with the teriyaki sauce. <laughs> That box is done. Oh, we are so close. Organic lemonade, the best lemonade. I swear, this is my favorite lemonade. Ow, ooh, pinching myself over here. I also love to mix it with iced tea and do a little Arnold Palmer. Some ginger beer, love to keep this on hand. Comes in handy when you have a stomach ache or as a drink mixer, or honestly, I like it better than ginger ale because it has more flavor. I like that it's a little bit spicier and it was on sale. We have made it to the final three items. I grabbed some new sheets for the guest bed. We've been needing new sheets in there for so long. We're doing a haul, let's do it. And I normally grab the Charisma set, but they didn't have the Charisma this time, so I grabbed the Hotel Signature Sateen 400 thread count, six piece sheet set, Egyptian cotton, and a size queen. So, and it was $50, so not a bad price for a new set of sheets. I'll let you know how it is. Are you guys sick of me talking about random items from Costco yet? Or are we enjoying this? <laughs> Super fun item, but it's part of the haul, part of things we bought today. We grabbed some flushable wipes. I like the Kirkland brand. I like that they're fragrant free. I like that, I don't know, I like the packaging. I like that it's neutral. It doesn't like, it's not a jarring package in the bathroom. It just kind of goes away. So I grabbed two boxes of them since I was there. And yeah, now we're set on flushable wipes. <laughs> I made it to the final item. Did we? Or am I forgetting something? I do have two last items, super quick. So the last item right here is a pack of Italian sparkling mineral water. I've been loving San Pellegrino lately, which is a new thing. Never liked sparkling water before, but something about it, I'm intrigued and I like it. So I'm gonna give the Kirkland version a try. It was right next to the San Pellegrino. I'm assuming it tastes the same. I'll let you know. Plus, this was about six or seven dollars cheaper. So I was like, heck, I'll give it a try. If I don't like it, I have a lot of sparkling water on hand. I grabbed a box of Powder Tide, my tried and true. And then I grabbed a new box of OxyClean because I was also out of that. And that, my friends, is everything I bought at Costco today. Let me clear off this counter and I will share with you the final amount. So get your guesses in down below. Let me know what you think 
all of this stuff cost us today. Here's the thing. I only go like once every six months. So it's not like I do this huge shop every week. Like that would be crazy, right? All right, so has everybody taken a guess at the total for our Costco purchase for today? I honestly was a little surprised, but I think, I think it might be the most I've ever spent at Costco. And I think it was even more than when I did a full stock, like when I bought everything for the house when we moved to Florida. Like, that's a lot. I will tell you, it is four digits, and we bought 69 items today. <sighs> Ringing in at a total of 1,000, <laughs> I know, $1,016.76. That hurt my heart a little bit. See, there it is, the total. Right there. Ouch. <laughs> but here's the thing, not trying to justify it by any means. Like we literally had like no back stock. We were out of cleaning supplies. I didn't have like any fruit. I didn't have anything for the holidays. So we really didn't need to restock, but that does also hurt when you see that total. But anyways, it's done. <sighs> we did it. A another Costco haul and it was even more fun because it was for the holidays. So I know, I text Karen this morning, I'm like, okay, if you're cool with it, I would love to host Christmas Eve and Christmas and I will cook both meals. And she's like, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I love this stuff. I love hosting and I love cooking and I just, I love it. That is it. That was our Costco holiday haul and everything we got to prepare for the holidays. But I would love to know, I'd love to know if you did a big grocery or like Costco restock. I would love to know how much you spent. It's kind of fun, you know, like, Join in on my pain, it feels good. Share it, because other people do it too. I mean, you just witnessed me spending $1,000 at Costco. Anyways, thank you for joining me for another Costco haul. I love doing these and I can tell you guys enjoy watching them. So let me know if there's anything new at Costco that you've tried that I should add to my list for when I go up there next time. And, and I would like to thank my husband for joining me today. It is such a long day whenever I go to Costco, but he was such a trooper and it was really fun to have somebody join me. That is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope you guys enjoy your holidays. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.